Hello and welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and the only TV network with the Free Petrochemicals news show. It is Thursday, January 28th. I am Indra Singh. Our special news deal today is sponsored by Ahmedabad based Swith Industries. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil futures displayed a mixed undertone on Wednesday. Brent futures declined as the United Kingdom tightened its border control to curb one of the world's worst viral outbreaks. Also, rising pandemic cases globally inciting fears of dampened demand for oil and fuel further supported the price fall. WTI crude futures marched higher after the Energy Information Administration reported a massive draw in the crude oil inventories. Brent futures declined by 10 cents, settling at $55.81 per barrel, while WTI futures gained by 24 cents, settling at $52.85 per barrel. On Wednesday, open spec NAFTA prices remain steady at 520 US dollars per metric ton at CFR Far East Asia levels. On Wednesday, propylene prices edged lower in Asia. The price fall was prompted by weaker demand trends in the key markets like China, coupled with ample product availability in the region. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today, on January 28, 2021. LNGP prices remain steady at 7,865 RMB per metric ton. PP prices are stable at 8,190 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by 20 RMB per metric ton at 7,320 RMB per metric ton. In plan news, Yunnan Yontianhua has brought on stream its 150,000 metric ton per year PP unit this week following a maintenance work. Located at Yunnan of China, the unit was shut for maintenance on December 11, 2020. Our special news today is sponsored by Ahmedabad based Swith Industries. Established in the year 2005, a reputed manufacturer and supplier of thermoplastic injection molding machines. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch a daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Thursday, January 28th. I am Indra Singh. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymerupdate and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at polymerupdate. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.